Hi, it's the second part of the phrasal verb series. Today we are going to talk about phrasal verbs with take. The first one is take off. And take off is a good one because <clears throat> it has actually three meanings. The first meaning is to remove some clothing. So if you're too hot, you take off your jumper, okay? The other meaning of take off is when a plane starts to fly or a helicopter, when it lifts off and goes up in the air. So when the plane takes off, it starts to fly. And the third meaning of take off is usually used as take a day off or take a week off. It means not to go to work and sort of be on holiday, take a day off, take two days off. The next one is take after, with after. Take after means to resemble uh, somebody, to look like somebody or more like to be like somebody in personality. And it's usually used with parents or with ancestors. If you take after somebody, you resemble them because you know, you are related to them. So who do you take after? Do you take after your mother or your father? That can be a question. The next one is take up. Take up means to start doing something as a hobby. If you take up fishing, then you start going regularly. <clears throat> you have taken it up. Next one is with over. Take over. If you take over, you start to control something. So when a bigger company buys a smaller one, they take over. They start to make the rules and control the procedures. And the fifth one, the last one for today is take on. <clears throat> take on means to hire, to employ somebody. If you take on new employees, you start to <clears throat> work with them. You hire them and they start to work for you. So these are the new phrasal verbs. And remember that take is irregular. Take took taken. And if you feel like doing some exercises, then uh, please find the PDF uh, under the video in the info box or in the comments. And feel free to do the exercises and don't forget to subscribe. See you down the road. Bye-bye.